Hey there, this is June Lukel, uh, ready to do a demonstration dem um, focusing on snowman magic, making cards. And for some reason, this is not that surprising, but it is again, um, Facebook would not let me, I, I made the whole post to uh, do the live event. And for whatever reason, it is not, it is still grayed out and it is not allowing me to go live. So I'm hoping everyone finds me, even though that particular one, for whatever reason, I, I'm hoping I, we can link, we can link it. Um, I can sort of do technology, just always, you know, there's some, something that isn't working like it's supposed to. So, all right. So, hey, James, did you find me? through that link or did you just go on and and see that th that I was live I don't know if you can quote or you can come into the other room here. <laughs> my biggest fan over there so hopefully other people will find us um I don't know and uh I have a different setup today I figured out something um to try to keep us from bumping into the stand I have this kind of looks classier and for a Christmas present, I'm going to have a, an actual stand, a professional. So, but anyway, um, you're not here to see me and, uh, I am here. I want to demonstrate some stuff. So have some cool ideas. Anyway, hopefully more people find us and we will get started here. So I'm going to make, uh, show you my desktop here. Mm. All right, so it's very shiny right there, isn't it? Whew. Well, perhaps I can adjust the lamp a bit. All right, so. Okay, anyway, we are doing this stamp set, and here's how it is, and some cute ideas, and I'm going to even expand on the one idea a little bit. So... We're doing this stamp set, same thing. Here's just some examples. Now, this is being discontinued soon. And so um, the snowman dies are actually on sale for 1961. Um, I'm not sure what the original price was, but the entire bundle is, if you include this and the dies, and by the way, I added a magnet so that all the little pieces would not get too lost. Um, they are, that this would be the bundle for forty one twenty five, but it's only while supplies last. So if you are interested, you should come. You should go online to youcanstamp.com and link. Click on the top right hand corner where there's like a graphic of colored pencils. That will take you right to the online store, which is open twenty four seven. And here is our host code for the month. That it's automatically set up so that. If you go there, you'll do that. Now, if you are planning to spend over $150, take the host coast off, host code off, because that means you will get 10% or more, depending on the, the size of the order, for yourself of, for free. But if it's under that, it's not going to count for anything, and I can add these together by using this host code. So I appreciate it if you use this code if you're doing less than $150. But like I said, um, you use the free stuff for yourself if you want. And if you're considering over, if you're going to do $100 or more, you actually could save money by joining and becoming a demonstrator. And then you can get a 25% discount for as long as you keep up the, uh, the quota. So anyway, if you have any questions about that, please let me know. But I want to get started on our card. All right. So I have several ideas. I am, I went through online and there's a whole bunch of stuff on or, um, for sale. Handmade wishes was another thing that I didn't get a chance to show you. So I'll probably do that next week. Yeti to party. I loved that one last week, last week, um, or two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And where is it? Um, Oh, I know. Here are the samples from last time. There's one and this one. 
So these are the ones. These, there is a special die that is was only available for a short time and it's back and it's on sale. So if you are interested in this, the Yeti thing um, stamp set is a crazy price. It's like seven something. I've never, you know, that's really discounted. And then on top of that, you can get the dies. So I'm thinking about getting the dies myself, even though that's going to be discontinued soon and I won't be able to demonstrate anymore, but super cute and very cheap. So, ah, uh, yay. Some other people are here. So Julie's here and who, I don't know if whoever is the other person, please comment because I'd love to know. Um, I decided I'm not going to do too much chit chatting. I do want to demonstrate things directly, but I did want to tell you, you know, I want to share these deals. These are, who, who doesn't like a deal, right? I mean, we can't afford everything. So I want to share when you can save money, you can get more for your money, right? Let's do it. So, okay. The first card. Oh, yep. I did do that. Okay. So I used the piece of cardstock that I was going to use for the base and I used it for something else. So that means I have to open a new package and that's not the kind of, okay. Oh my goodness. I have made such a mess around here. I mean, I've cleaned it up and yet I've messed it up. I don't know too much going on. So, all right, here I've got a piece of cardstock. I'm going to cut it lengthwise. I'll do it in front of you because who wants to see here? that in the background might as well demonstrate how to use a cutter not that you don't already know but all right and then i'm going to score it at five and a half so right there and we've got i just think of the darker ones more it's darker it's more color so that one's the cutter but the one that's a little bit less is the scorer all right, and then that will break the fiber so that that folds nicely. Okay, so that is gonna be our base. All right, and um, we are going to use the um, pool party. And I'm not sure, let's see, this is one and a half inches wide by four and a quarter. And then I also want to make, oh, no wonder, I was thinking this went with it and it doesn't. This this particular fence actually goes with the gingerbread house. So that goes with that one. But I wanted a fence, so I borrowed it. Now, here's a trick. I, in my original sample, I ended up gluing it with the multi-purpose liquid glue, which is awesome glue, but it is kind of messy. So I wanted to show you, this is adhesive sheets. And hopefully you can see this. My, I'm all mixed up. Hopefully I'm not off the screen too much. I just realized that. All right, so I'm going to peel that off and I'm gonna put that face down. Now my scrap here is a little bit short, but it'll be okay. All right, so I've done that. So that is basically adding a sticker. I'm going to make this whole thing into a sticker. So I'm going to put this across and I'm going to run it through my handy dandy um, mini emboss, cut and emboss machine. All right. So let me do the top cutting plate. I like to stagger them. Oops. This shouldn't move though. Okay. Sorry. Hmm. All right, that ought to be better. Yeah. Oops. All right. <sighs> so this is really tight. Probably maybe that extra adhesive made a difference. All right. So when I take this off, I 
this has just become a sticker. All right, so I can peel off the back and it will stick. I won't have to add adhesive, which is really a time saver, okay? And it'll actually probably stick better too. So, all right, so, and then I gotta get all the little pieces out. That was, it's pretty relatively easy if you do that. I figured this out. <laughs> all right, those were easier. These other ones were a little bit um, trickier, but. And then these curved ones might need, might need a little help on that one. Um, all right, just a couple of these. Not too bad. Head worse. All right. So let me clear all this junk. Hmm. Gotta clean that up. Okay. need to be able to whoo sorry about that okay so now I have this and this fence I think I might stand up for this um then I also actually before I take this anywhere I want to run through a tree you know what actually let me do stamping and then I could run through the tree I'm gonna do the tree but I also already stamped a rabbit, all right, and cut him out. I made that for a different thing, so I just had an extra one. But I want to show you how to make a bird. And actually, come to think of it, I decided, I think I'm going to, you could use the die, but I want to make it a cardinal, which has a little crest on the top of his head, so I might trim that out, actually. Changing my mind here. You know, you got to learn from your, your mistakes. That's how you learn. So if you want to call it a mistake, I maybe should think of it as more of an improvement, right? Improve the first card I did. All right. So here is my little deciduous tree. I changed my mind like a bunch of times today. Not, not too much of a surprise there. Um, had two other card ideas to do, but only so much time, right? So these little holes are to help get this out if it's stuck. Okay. So, all right. And then I want to do this bird. Okay. So I decided I'm going to use, I guess I will sit down, um, sweet sorbet. which um, is basically like kind of like a, a light red. I mean, I know light red is technically pink, right? I guess this is a dark pink, but this came, it's close enough to red that I feel like no one would ever notice. So, all right, so there is my little bird and I have a sweet sorbet marker. So what I'm going to do is add a little crust on top of his head or her head. Okay. And then I am I looked up cardinals because, you know, I've seen them a million times and could totally recognize it. But as most of us are, we don't, you know, it helps to be able to um, see an example rather than doing everything from memory. So this is a cute one. Um, but the eye actually stays light and the beak stays red, which was interesting. And then there's a little bit of black or dark on the wing. Or it's kind of brown, I guess, depends on 
be male or female. So this will be a boy one. Um, okay, so then I'm going to cut this out. There is a die for this, but like I said, um, it doesn't cut the crest out. So by doing this, I can cut it with the crest, which is just a little bit cuter. It doesn't take longer, too much longer. Okay, so here I have a bird. All right, here, so you can see it. Any cute? Yeah, so, okay, those two. I'll close this up. Okay, now I want to make this a brown bunny. Um, because that's what they are around here. I suppose if we lived in Alaska, that'd be different. But I've never seen a snow rabbit around here. Um, okay, so I, here it is. I was like, come on, I just had this. So I have a water painter and I'm gonna pick up some ink and I'm gonna put it down, starting in the area that would be darkest and then continuing on until it's lighter, and then figure out another place where it would be, be darker and bring it all. Now, I don't like how that looks particularly, so I'm gonna put some more dark. I'm gonna make that knee, though, look like it's um, lighter. And this farther ear would be darker, probably, right? <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so there, cutie. I know that's probably far away, but here. <laughs> it's so cute. I just love this stamp set, it's so adorable. Um, there, there are just so many cute ones this time. I, I'm sad that they're being discontinued already. And I feel like we just got them. Oh, I should have done this. I also want to make this tree um, a little bit more interesting. It's just kind of blah. So I'm going to put this on a scrap here. And I'm going to add some of this. This uh, was originally crumb cake here. And I'm going to add some soft um, suede that's the same as the bunny and I'll just put a little bit of shadows here and there doesn't even have to be completely just um, more than you know just some some texture some shading all right a little bit more interest there. All right, so. Okay, so now I have um, my little, yeah, we'll call it. So I'm gonna peel this off and I know not all of it. See, look how easy that was. Oh my gosh, piece of cake. And I'm gonna put that down. Right here. That could not be easier. Look at that. I wish my sticker was a little bit longer, but really not too bad here. I could always put glue on the ends. If you don't like how that looks. I'm being picky. Okay. But if I would have had a scrap that was actually the right length, that would have not been an issue at all. So, okay. 
<clears throat> now I actually want to add that to the top here. So most of my action is going to be at the top. I wanted to have a very, it's, I'd say this would be considered an asymmetrical card maybe. Although it's top to bottom asymmetrical as opposed to left to right. Okay, so as um, I have also already shown people the rule of thirds. So if you divide it into thirds this way and to this way, you'd have a crisscross in here, 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 or here. Does that make sense? If you divide it into thirds. So most of my action is going to be these two up here, but uh, truthfully, this one for the most part, this edge right here. So I am going to put, I could have done this one with the, if I had a, another scrap of the adhesive that would have been quicker um, but whoops not even in the screen here lights kind of not great is it Her. okay so so this tree is in front of the fence but it's going off the edge. Okay. Now I want to pop these guys up. And I'm going to use dimensionals. So I'll use the mini ones because they're pretty small. So I'm going to put this cardinal in the tree right up here. I'm going to be kind of looking down, whoops, kind of looking down at the bunny because the bunny, it's like they're talking, right? Now they are on, if, if this was directly under the tree, this is a kind of a small tree, isn't it? Um, that's okay. We'll use our imaginations, right? Um, or if it's a big bunny, I guess you could look at it either way, right? Okay, so this is still kind of plain. So what I wanted to do, and I wanted, excuse me, some words. So I have, thanks so much. <clears throat> now, I first thought, this. There, there's actually a lot of locations that would be great for this one. Um, you could put words there. I feel like that would be a good spot. It would kind of be like that. Your eye would go there and to there too. Um, or you could put it down here um, where there's nothing. <clears throat> and um, put something else there. So that's how I had planned to do it. And I want to show you, I thought of something fun to add into the sky, which I'm sure was not that creative to think what could be in a winter sky, right? I bet you yes. <clears throat> Snowflakes, of course. All right, sorry, am I too close to myself? Now, I showed this trick at my stamp camp, the lightest one, but um, <clears throat> we have these wonderful snowflakes all right, and they are iridescent like this. You can pop them out, but then you have all this leftover stuff. All right, so what I decided to do, instead of throwing that out, no waste, right? Um, I cut this. All right, so you can use these scraps to, um, why not, right? So I have, here's some of that iridescent stuff that was basically free, it came with it. And then I have this um, frame. Now um, a lot of these snowflakes are partial, but this one right here is a full one. So if I were to do that, I could get a full one there, but I can also, there's also, it does come with a, 
sorry. A little snowflake. Okay. So if you ran that through, um, you would, in fact, I don't know. I should have done that. Um, I did run one through, but well, let me show you. It's not going to fit on my, on my other one, I think. All right, so... So here, I did the corner there. Can you see? I did the corner that goes there. All right, and then that can be cut out. Cut and popped out, really. And then cut out. All right, and then... um. You can, I can do the small ones too. All right. And I actually have done a couple of those and here they are. So I am going to put a big one here and a smaller one here and then another one, almost like an asterisk right there. Okay. And they are shinier than the rest. And I'm also going to add um, rhinestone. Now I've made this in a, scaling triangle if you remember that's my little trick that's one um a june local original um i think it's a if you use the let's see the principle of design um Oh, I lost my train of thought. Variety. That would work because you have a variety of sizes or lengths of the, of the distances from each other. Okay, so. Whoop. And then this one. And you could do this in like glitter paper. That would be really pretty, wouldn't it? All right, and then I also wanted to add um, rhinestones. So I'll put those a little bit extra, a little bling. Right there. In fact, that one could be a bigger one. Whoop. There. All right. So there you have that one. Very simple. comparatively. All right. So here's the one that I did at our stamp camp, um, which has the iridescent snowflakes that were already die cut for you. And then these are the ones that I did, uh, with the scraps. Okay. So this is kind of a medium in between this and the next one, the card that I'm going to show you. So I'm, I didn't demonstrate this, but there's a lot to similar. Uh, no, not exactly, but anyway. Um, all right, so there's that card. And next, I wanted to use this frame for something. Okay, it's... Uh, I thought it was neat. And it's just the right pr proportions for a card. Um, so I have white card stock that I'm going to fold in half this way hamburger style, as the kids say. All right. And then this is Knight of Navy. Oops. Yeah, no, I did that right. And that is, I cut a little bit off so that there is a 16th of an inch around here. 
And then this is, I ran this through basically, um, wrong way, this way. Okay. So you see how there's a little edge all the way around it. I basically cut a rectangle that was three and a half by four and three quarters. And then I put it in there. Now, since this is a big one and lots of detail, I would run it through a couple times to make sure that all the little pieces get cut out. All right. So I did that and here I have it. I'm going to actually end up popping that up. But what I want to do is put some words inside. Whoops, helpful to be up. So it's the most magical time of the year. I wanted that to be kind of framing those words. So um, since it's dark cardstock, my best bet is to do heat embossing. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to use my embossing buddy. And right now there's a, a kit that includes this the embossing buddy, the powder pal, paintbrush, and tweezers, which I think is a great, great kit. We have not had this for a while, and so if you have the chance to get it, I really would. So this embossing powder basically takes the static off of it so that when we put the resin on here, which is very staticky, it doesn't stick to it. So I'm, I'm kind of eliminating that. All right, then I'm going to use Versamark ink which is clear and then um here's my words all right now I want to make sure that I'm getting it um now I don't want to glue this on because I'm going to actually pop this up but I do need to kind of figure out about where I'm doing this okay and how it's going to center all right so get that nice oh you know what I'm not going to do verse mark. I'm going to use white. That would be even better. White craft ink. Here it is. Oh, white craft is even better for the for white um, embossing powder. All right, so. Verse mark's great for everything else though. So, and, and if you don't have white, first mark will work for white um, embossing powder as well, but it's sort of like reinforcing it. Okay. All right. So here I have it. Um, notice, by the way, um, a lot of first or early stampers smoosh it in there and that just gets it everywhere. And I almost have too much on there. I re-inked this not too long ago um, so that it's kind of juicy, but here we go. So... And sometimes having a pad underneath it helps. All right, so there. So see, that's not so, um, too much contrast, unfortunately, but by doing this, it should definitely help. So here, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of embossing powder on that. And So you can get some of the extra stuff off. That's where the paintbrush comes in handy. Can get real close. Looks like pretty good though. All right, now I have a plastic table, so I do not, and this is contact paper, so I don't wanna melt anything. So I'm going to do this on a wooden clipboard with foil on it that helps. And then, use my heat heat gun. Oh, and it helped it was plugged in. Yep, it can be plugged. Hold on a second. All right, here we go. really fun to see it get shiny and melt. Okay, 
course, you don't want to overdo it because you can actually burn it. Scorch it. All right, so there I have it. Okay, so that's what's going to look through my frame. And let me put this away. All right, so that's going to be attached directly on. And you know what? I'm going to use a different adhesive. So here I have a silicone mat, which helps because apparently I've missed a few places. Um, and I'm going to put my um, adhesive. And so if I get off the edge, it does not stick to the silicone, which is really cool. Okay. All right. And then I will put that on. Okay, now I want to raise this up and I'm going to use these mini, um, what should I call them, dimensionals. I need to get a new sheet maybe soon. So this will help um, pop it up, give it some, some dimension. So today I watched, uh, I did a webinar for um, getting more people to stamp, which is really something I've wanted to do for a while and got some really great ideas. I'm kind of inspired here, but I also met with my advisor for my master's degree and she highly recommended that I take this class called Art and Story, since I want to be a children's book illustrator, which I suspect is going to take a lot of my time. So definitely a precious resource that time, but that class does sound super exciting. That was one of the, the ones I was most looking forward to. And she said it's only offered once a year and she is teaching it herself. And she does not know if it's going to be offered again next spring for sure. So she's like, you should take it. I'm like, okay. Or if she's, at least if she's going to be doing it next spring. So let's see, which side do I like best? Don't matter too much I suppose okay so this is the tricky part there now I could leave it like that however I want to do a little bit more to it and I know it's like kind of twisty there for some reason um now, I wanted to add a snowman, all right, and magical time of year, maybe some sparkle too. So um, you can take a scrap, and then we're going to use memento ink. Now, this one's fun because there's lots of pieces, parts, and you can customize your snowman. There's a lot of different things. You can make it, you know, the different kinds of hats and scarves and hat, you know, different faces even. Um very fun. So I'm going to stamp the main snowman. It's no person. Okay. And then it needs a face. So here, I'm going to do this face. So I've put more than one on the, um, um, the block especially these little ones. I think that's fine. Now I've already stamped a bunch of pieces and, um, cut them out. So by the way, I want to have some buttons. So here's this cute little three buttons in a row. I'm going to do that down here. Okay. Now I have a bow tie, which could be used on the hat or the bow or the person kind of like that. And actually, I've already cut this snowman out, so I'm going to 
um, do this. So let's see. There is actually a tool, I should grab that. It's called Take Your Pick. And that can help you here. So you can, for example, you can, it's got a little bit of putty in the end, so it, it can pick it up. And then you can put glue on it, all without touching it. And then you could, And then lift that up, and then let's get this one. I actually do this here. So I guess these guys' arms are like putting their hands out, you know. Um, and I've got a hat. Oh, I think I wanted to make this navy blue or the night of navy kind of like the background there. Okay, give it a little, little color. All right, and then that is, I can pick that up and put a little bit of glue right on his head. That can go right here. And then um, I have this um, holly. Now I did this with a marker. I put marker right on to the stamp. Whoop. Okay, oh, that carrot needs to get colored in, right? So I'm going to use this pale papaya and yeah, so then let's see, this guy can go right here and I was thinking maybe having another bunny. This one can be a white bunny. What do you think? Look cute. It covers that snowflake, so it's debatable. Um, I could put that more out like this. I could even put it down. Breaking that line there, it's kind of um, adds to, it catches your eye, if you will. So maybe I'll do that. Actually. All right, and then we will actually let's add this right there. Oh, come on, bunny. All right. That's not the right top for that. There we go. All right, so I feel like we could still use, I don't know, some texture, some bling. A couple options here. Um, this is called Night. Oops, sorry. Wink of Stella, all right, and it's got some sparkly, um, I don't know if it's considered paint or what, but it adds some sparkle. I don't know if you can see that, but you could sparkle up all this stuff. That's a, a new word, sparkle up, or term. The other thing is, there's a new product that is, uh, I believe... Maybe um, being discontinued, to be honest. It is in the new, in the mini catalog. So a lot of the things in there are going to be discontinued, unfortunately. Um, which is a shame because there's just so many cute things and they're only available for a short time. But that means if they're not, you know, if they're taking them out, that means they're bringing more cool stuff. So... 
you could do all of these and make it really sparkly. Um, the other thing is you can add a little texture. You can make it pop up a little bit by the product I'm telling you about now. It's, um, well, it's right here. Here it is. Pearlized Enamel Effects Basic White. And then it comes with these other ones. So it's got base. This is black, but it looks kind of silver. And then this is red. So what I thought I could do is maybe put this on top of it. Especially if you didn't think this was quite as much sparkle as you were hoping. So... Um, it's definitely something, but if you want to really add something, um, you can do this. And it, you see that? So you could add kind of like a pearl. you could you could really do something you could probably spread it around if you wanted to you can have small amounts big amounts but see how it gives some dimension to it really fun so um i don't want to take all your time here because i think you got the idea but here are the two that I've made today and the one I made for the stamp camp. And um, hopefully that gives you a lot of ideas. And if you remember, uh, maybe you weren't here at the beginning, um, just so you know that this stamp set and dies are now on sale. The dies are on sale, uh, are just are discounted. And the two together are $41.25, which is a discount from what it was. Um, just the stamp says 18 and now the dies are 1960, which is reduced. So, and remember this comes with those and yeah. So anyway, here is, here are the cards. So, and then the one from the other day. All right. So. I feel like the camera's really far away. Don't, I don't know. It shouldn't be any different, honestly, but there you have it. All right. So hopefully you learned a few things. Um, maybe you're inspired. You could take other stamp sets and do similar designs, but other stamp sets. However, I really like this one. And uh, remember, other ones are on sale. Yeti to Party is down to $7.20. And then there's a um, Yeti dies are eleven twenty, so you could get the whole bundle. Oh my goodness, for eighteen nineteen dollars. That's crazy. That's such a cute set too. I don't know. There's just every, there's some things that are super discounted, and I I know I'm gonna go on there tonight and order a few things before they're gone. So if you're interested in saving some money on some very cool supplies, you might want to too. Anyway, have a wonderful night, and I will be back in two weeks, I uh, believe, well, let's see, December 20th, I think. I think that would be it. So I'll be back in two weeks, and I will demonstrate some other things, which I, I kind of don't want to commit, but I suspect if it's not gone, it will be this bundle. I haven't even opened that punch. Um this one is on sale right now. This one with the window. And I don't know where the stamp set is for the moment. Um, this one's on sale. This is another one I was thinking about doing. This one always made me think of our friend Lynn. I love this bird. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then it goes with, like, I was thinking a very cool card to go with the Whimsical Wonderland embossing folder, which is currently $4 right now. Considering I bought this for at least 10, I'm kind of bummed about that, but you could get a deal. 
So, you know, I'm, I'm sharing some good deals with you. Okay. Have a wonderful night. See you on the 20th. Take advantage of these deals and have a wonderful couple weeks. Bye.